Thank you for another video. So today I'm going to be taking my a look at Scratch 3.0, which just came out January 2nd, I'm pretty sure. So hopefully I'm looking for like some improvements, you know, like new stuff to look at. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. So full screen, just like this, Scratch, should come up with it. Okay, the new Scratch is here, start creating. Let's see, so we have um, some very cool stuff like that. Okay, I'm not sure if this has really changed, like this interface hasn't really changed. Okay, let's hit start creating. What happens? Oh, that's new! I like that, I like that, I like that a lot. That's a like, really satisfying thing. Anyway, the whole interface is different, it looks like. So. Usually the game screen right here used to be over here in 2.0, and in 1.0 it was here, I'm pretty sure. So it went from right to left to right again. So that's cool. So let's see what we got. So we got motion. Don't really see much new here. Let's see. Yeah, no. They did do a revamp to all the blocks, though. They do look... Whisper, I guess. You know what I mean? So we have looks. Oh, we have. Okay, that's interesting. So we have. It used to be just go to front, but now we can select go to back, go to front. That's really helpful. I really like that. Let's check the sound. So we have nothing really new here. Let's check events. Not really. Control. Not really. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Sensing. Let's see. Don't really see anything. Let's hopefully we have something new in operators. I think this is new. Apple contains A, of course you can change this to whatever you want. You can change this. Okay. So that's cool. I think that's gonna help with lists a lot. And then we have variables, so variables look similar, set variable, can change variable, show variable, hide variable. Let's make a list. Okay. Oh, this is new. Make a list. Let's just call it Hi. You know? You can select for all sprites or for the sprite only. I'm just gonna do for all. So we got this little pop-up and we got this right here. So we have list hi, add hi, and blah blah blah. And I think I don't think much is new here, but look item might be, and this might be, I'm not sure, but anyway, then we have make a block, my blocks, okay, let's make a block, okay, so we have this little interface here, okay, so we can move it around, see what it looks like, okay, let's title it something like cat, for now, anyway, we can add a input number of text, add it input mean, I think, and add a add a label which is like text and we also have the run without screen refresh so let's see what happens when we add an input okay so we have number of text so i can put number of yeah text okay let's see boolean so i think we can okay that's pretty cool and then okay this might be yeah okay that's i don't know much about blocks but it's pretty cool let's see what happens when you hit okay so we get this block immediately that says define cat with a input, and we get this over here. And if I go to operators, I'm pretty sure I can put this. Oh yeah, I can put this in here. I can put the. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. So anyway, continuing on, I think there's a new editor here. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, the first thing I wanted to point out is, you know how it usually puts you on bitmap first in Scratch 2.0? It now puts you on vector mode, which is a lot better, because vector mode, you can get more detailed stuff, and you can reshape all the stuff. So let's see here, we have your normal, yeah, right here. I'm guessing this copy is to, like, let's hit it. Okay, command V. Oh. We're gonna load for a little bit. Okay, so we do. Yeah, it does copy it. Okay, that's cool. Let's see if there's anything new to the colors. Oh, we can. So we can change the general color and change the saturation, the brightness. That's that's pretty cool. I like that. We also have an ungroup button. 
Anyway, let's see if there's a new sound editor. Let's see if they added any new sounds first. Oh, they did. They did. There's a ton. Okay, let's go to loops. Let's do... Yeah, sure, let's do this and see how this new editor works. So we can change the name right here to whatever we want. And then we have play. Okay, that's cool. And then if we hit trim, you see we can trim the edges. So let's see if it works. Let's just trim this. Save. And yeah, it does trim, so that is good. But the one thing I'm concerned about is that you can't trim the middle right here. Well, you can, but you have to cut all this stuff out right here if you wanted to do that. That is kind of concerning. Because if there's something bad in the middle that you want to cut out, you can't. But either way, I think it's pretty good. Let's see what you can do. So you can make it faster, slower, put an echo effect, robot effect, louder, softer, and reverse. Let's see faster. Oh yeah, that's faster. Let's see how fast it can go. And then you can reverse it or undo it. Let's see what slower sounds like. Yeah, that definitely makes it slower. Let's see what echo effect is. Oh yeah, there's definitely an echo. I think you can increase that, right? Whoa. Okay, let's see what robot sounds like. Whoa. And then louder. Obviously makes it louder. And then softer makes it softer. But what's reverse probably makes it sound really weird. This would be perfect for horror games, I'm just gonna say. And put a robot effect. Yeah, that's good. So I really like the new sound editor that they put in this. That's really neat. So anyway, going back to code, I saw this little thing here. So choose an extension. Okay, so we look like looks like we have a ton of these extensions. Yeah, I was wondering where pen was and video sensing. I'm like, where are these? So it looks like we have a ton of new ones. We have music, text to speech, Lego Mindstorms. We have micro bit, makey makey. Um, translate and they go we do so I'm gonna bring in let's see I'm gonna bring in text to speech and I'm also gonna bring in translate just like that okay so from bringing that in it looks like we have two new options right here we have text to speech and translate which is pretty cool and they each have their respected blocks so let's say speak hello let's see what happens hello Hello. So it says hello, which is good. And then we also have set voice to, and then set language. So let's see. Set voice. Let's do tenor. Hello. So it's a boy. Th this is a girl. This is a boy. Squeak. Hello. So it's like really high pitched. And then we have giant. Hello. It's like really deep. And then we have kitten, which I think is squeaky. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay. And then that's really cool. And then we can change the language. So we have English and, oh, we have a ton of things. Let's see, let's see Japanese. Hello. Hello. And I think you can change the... Hello. Yeah, you can, you can change the... Hello. Wow, they put a ton of work into this... Hello. Into this text-to-speech. I like that. And then we have translate, so if you put a check mark on this, it will show this little thing here, translate language, English, and... And we have translate hello to Uzbek. Let's see. Let's see what it is in Arabic. So it's this in Arabic. So they're really bringing in a lot of ways to make your games better so you can have more than one language so more people can actually understand it. I really like that. That's pretty cool. I think that's a good idea. So let's see one more. Video sensing. Let's, let's try it. Okay, so we got this oh look you can see me right here so in video motion 10 video motion on spray turn video on let's see what happens when i turn it off okay so it does turn it off let's see video on flipped okay so that's actually pretty cool i noticed it's a tad blurry i bet you you can fix that very easily. Oh yeah, set video transparency to 50. Let's see, zero. Okay, there. 
yeah, it's much better. That's really cool. So, motion equals 10. Let's just say, hmm. Move, let's just do something simple. Oh, look, I'm moving. Look, you can make them move, see? Oh, that's really cool, that's really cool. I really like that. Let's see tutorials, let's see what they have here. Oh! They have a ton. Wow, look at all this. So, what happens if you search, I mean, if you hit getting started, so it brings up this little tab right here. With Scratch, you can make your own stories, games, and animations. Let's start by grabbing a move block. We can click the block to run it. Okay, I get that. This is pretty basic, so what happens Check. if you hit next? Okay, so you got an add a move block. That's pretty cool, so it shows you like step by step instructions. I like that. Okay. And then you have the one flag is closed. Okay, that's pretty cool. And then we have C more, and if I hit close, it closes it. Yo, this is going to be, in my opinion, revolutionary for this, for Scratch, because this is going to help so much early beginners get into it, too, and they added a ton of cool stuff, so, yeah, if you did like this video, please consider liking and subscribing, I'm not forcing you to, because I'm not going to do that, but anyway, um, I'm... Subscribe if you want to see more Scratch videos. I'm going to be doing another one probably today. But anyway, on that note, bye!